Today's mug moment comes from Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Jesus said, heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. When I was growing up, I would often play this board game with my brother and my dad called Axis and Allies. It's a battle strategy game that usually takes at least 12 hours to be able to even come close to finishing it. So we would start it early in the day, we'd play the entire day, and then often we'd go even late into the night and early into the morning the next day. Three, four in the morning, we would be up and we'd be shouting at each other about what the rules were and how to play the game and what the best strategy was. Usually I would lose, but occasionally I would manage to win. I would have the right rolls of the dice and the right strategies and it would all work out so that I was the superpower at the end of the day. But the issue was that when I did win, I always learned this, this super important lesson. I had spent the entire day and the entire night striving to get all these tanks on the board and all these men on the board and all these fighters on the board. But at the end of the game, it all goes back in the box. All that striving that I did the whole day, all that arguing, all that strategizing, all those men, tanks, and fighters that I put on there, it all goes back in the box. And you're left with this question. You're forced to ask yourself this question. What's left? What's left after you? it all goes back in the box? Jesus tells us to ask the same question. All those strivings that we have in this life, those strivings to get the biggest house, the best car, the best job, the most money, the best body, it all goes back in the box. At the end of the game, everything goes back in the box. And we're forced to ask ourselves the same question, what's left? What's left? Jesus says, my words last forever. Everything else disappears. My words last forever. So today, we want to, we want to reflect on his words. And we want to go to prayer to Jesus, committing ourselves to following his word. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're left with.